Well, I was messing around. <laughs> and this is what I end up with. So, uh, the bass are here. Here we are, guys. Some of y'all recognize that. We're going real simple. Um, for those of you that noticed, I haven't posted in a while. Unfortunately, I lost my GoPro and I've been working a lot of hours at work. So, gonna do our best today to get out of here, just get a video shot. Um, I'm really pretty confident we're gonna catch some stuff uh, and then get back into the swing of recording, which is tough because deer season's right around the corner. So, uh, big sponsor that I want to shout out is the Happy Hooker in town. I'm going to link down there for everybody so they can uh, get over there. It's 5% off if you mention the channel. Um, he's been a big supporter of me for a long, long time. Uh, he's a great guy. So, yeah, let's see what we can't do today. Let's have some fun. Get back on it. Well, there's a ton of bluegill over here. Last time I was here, I caught a five-pound bass on a worm. Guys, this makes me wish I had a cast net. My job would be so much easier. Guys, I made a rookie mistake. So I had to run home and get small, small hooks. I was, they were taking my bait. I was there for like five minutes. They started taking all my bait and I went, oh. I, really, I had the bigger hook on there. Uh, and uh, I also needed worms. So <laughs> a little break in the action. Luckily the place, one of the places I buy is right down the road. Happy Hooker is like 10 minutes down the road. So again, check it out. There's a good time to pause and remember you should go there and get what you need. <laughs> Um, so we're back at it again. I don't know if you guys can see how small of a hook I'm using. Uh, they're not very big fish, so. But they seem to be pretty smart. So I don't know how I feel about that. little trick you can do I'll try to show this hopefully it shows up on cam but if you ball up the worm sometimes they hit it so hard that they accidentally get the hook stuck in them so got that and I threw out the little guy see if maybe we can get some, some catfish on the uh, just the straight worm That didn't work. Guys, it's not a big one, <laughs> but it'll do. Um, we're gonna, 
think I'm gonna send him out there just as he is. I have pretty big hook on big red, so um, yeah, didn't take long once I got to the bigger size blue gun. Now the problem we're going to run into, the problem we're going to run into is I don't have rod holders, so it can be very hard to make <laughs> to see on that line if they're taking line. So, kind of kind of have to pay attention. But good start, good start there. Just casting over to that hole, and I just caught another one. And of course, I wasn't videoing, so. Just like that, guy. Okay? So, I mean, he's a pretty tiny guy. I'm gonna let him go. But, it's possible. It looks like I'm getting nibbles over here, so. That's where we're going to concentrate. I haven't had any nibbles on the bigger rod. Whatever I threw out on the big one, the big, yeah, that live bluegill, still twitching. Which is exactly what I want them to do. Um, sun's going down, and usually this is about the time that, that uh, we do our best here. Uh, it's cooling off a little too, which is really, really nice because I've been sweating through everything. So, I think, uh, you know, we're getting down to that time. The time when it, you know, I guess it all comes together for us. I got that on camera guys or you may have heard it probably out there something big jumped um, and it wasn't too far from all these worms I have here so not two minutes after I said this is usually when we start to uh, get hits one jump so let's fingers crossed be nice to get something on my first day our first video back in a while. Well, I was messing around. <laughs> and this is what I end up with. So, uh, the bass are here. They're eating. Here we go, it's nothing. <laughs> That's all she wrote for this one. Um, look for more uh, video uploads. Definitely going to get back on it. Uh, Happy Hooker, go see him. I love you all. See you soon.